Hello friends, today I want to tell you about one of the tablets on the market, the Realme Pad. This is a review of the 6-128 version. Let's start with the unboxing and see what's inside. In the box, we find the Realme Pad, instructions and paperwork, a tool, a USB-C cable, and a pretty decent 18W charger. The Realme Pad has an elegant design with a metal back panel that looks and feels very sturdy and reliable. The tablet is also very lightweight and thin, which makes it convenient to use. The Realme Pad is made of high-quality materials, which provide durability and longevity. The metal back panel has a matte surface that doesn't slip and is pleasant to the touch. The Realme Pad features a USB-C port, a headphone jack, and a memory card slot. There are also volume and power buttons. The Realme Pad has a 10.4-inch IPS display. It provides bright and clear colors as well as a good level of contrast. The maximum YouTube video quality can only be set to 2.7K, but the picture is good, colorful, and without visible pixels. The Realme Pad has built-in stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos technology, which provide good sound quality. The sound is loud and clear enough, making it suitable for watching videos and listening to music. Realme Pad has an 8-megapixel camera with autofocus. The camera is good enough for video calls and document scanning, but it may not be ideal for high-quality photography. If you're interested in purchasing a case to protect your device, links to both the Realme Pad and the case will be provided in the description. The Realme Pad runs on a MediaTek Helio G80 processor and has 6GB of RAM which makes the tablet fast and responsive. The device launches apps quickly without any lag, and it scored well on the Intuitu benchmark, with over 265,000 points. However, there is another version of the Realme Pad that has only 4GB of RAM, which I do not recommend purchasing as it may cause glitches and freezing. In terms of cooling, I tested the Realme Pad for 30 minutes under 100% load to see if it throttles, and the device maintained its performance without overheating, which indicates that the cooling system is well designed. Realme Pad is also suitable for gaming. I tested it with high graphic games like PUBG Mobile, GTA San Andreas, and Shadowgun Legends, and they ran smoothly without any lag or graphics quality degradation. However, more resource-intensive games like Genshin Impact may only run smoothly on low settings, and playing on medium settings may result in some freezing and lagging. The tablet has a large battery of 7100 mAh, which will provide a whole day of use in intensive mode. So, the Realme Pad is an excellent tablet for its price. It has a quality display, a powerful enough processor, good sound, a decent camera for a tablet, and a long battery life from a single charge. If you're looking for a tablet with good specifications at a reasonable price, the Realme Pad is an excellent choice. As for the downsides, I could mention the inconvenient placement of the headphone jack, which is located in an area where you hold the tablet, but nowadays almost everyone has wireless headphones, and I don't consider this a big downside. Thank you for watching this review. Check out my other videos, see you soon friends. Bye.